Hello viewers, welcome back. In this video, I will make a function that will give us a question and remainder when we divide a number by others. Now see a equation that a equal to b, b divided by c. Here a is called quotient, b is called dividend and c is called divisor. So there other function is called the remainder. In this video I will make a function that will give quotient and remainder by using dividend and divisor. Okay. Here in math function you can see that calculate add division multiplication that already discussed in other video you may already use that. There are other function is called modulo function. That modulo function will give a, a remainder value when you divided by others, one number by others. I have drag and drop that modulo function. From here you can see that modulo function will give only integer value. So remainder will always be integer. So in this video I will make a function that modulo will give a return below remainder as a integer. But sometimes maybe you uh, divided 20.30 like this uh, by 12.5 that will not a integer value that should not be a integer value remainder but by this mod modulo function you cannot find out that remainder value that will give decimal point value but i will make a function by some trick that will give mod uh, remainder value in decimal format in other video okay in this video i will make only remainder value in integer okay now i will take a function and give a name that real to portion and remainder okay remainder and that language I have used as a SCL because SCL language looks like a small program and some function you can find in SCL only. Okay, here our input is dividend and divisor. From here you can see our input is dividend B and C. So I will write here as a dividend dividend and data type is I already write here as a real okay now I will give a divisor if you make the divisor as a variable you can give a input name here otherwise you can leave it just give a input as dividend I will make the divisor as a variable so I write it as a divisor and that value is integer ok and our output will be one name is quotient and data type is integer and another is remainder data type is integer ok now I will make that real real data type dividend to integer. So in term I will make that dividend dividend in DIN function and data type is our DIN. Okay. Now now I'll convert that dividend input 
real value to real value to integer value, double integer value. So our output will be dividend integer double integer, and input is our real real to din, and input of that real to din function is is our dividend dividend. Okay, now close bracket. Okay, now second is I will make first question. I will find out the question from the dividend and divisor. So here our output will be set question. Here in line two, I will write the quotient integer because that is our output so i'll write left side as a quotient and right side i'll write that dividend in din format and divided by divisor divided by divisor Divisor. Okay. Now second output is our uh, remainder, and that I will find out from dividend din and by using mod modulo function. Modulo function and here I will write you say divisor. Okay, that is our three line program in SCL. Now I will call that function here. I will make that function. I will open this one again. Here you can see that is our function. Now I will call this function in network 7. And that looks like dividend and division. Here I will give a 30.0, and here our dividend was integer value. So here I will make it 13, and in the DB block, here I have already make a two variable called the quotient and remainder. Remainder. I will use that variable here tag that conf db portion and here remainder now i will downloading it going monitor okay now you can see if you multiply it by portion with divisor 13 multiplied by 2 is 26 so 30 subtract by 26 is 4 so our remainder is 4 and that is right so if the if the value is 30.4 so what will be our remainder and question and that will unsense because that that is our real value but inside in our program we have converted it as a double integer so when you convert double integer that will suppress the decimal point if the value less than 0.5 or equal 0.5 so if you use the 30.6 so it will when it will convert in double integer it will be 31 and when you divide it by 13 it will give a question to and remainder 5 let's see yes it's 5 you if you go online and monitor by open and monitor you can see here i make it here you can see that dividend when you convert dividend 
real to din that gives uh, 31 okay thank you for watching this video in next video i will make a remainder function that will give a decimal value